So as we get going, I'm going to start on my back and I think I'll scooch maybe a little closer. And I'm gonna grab those weights, maybe a pillow or a ball to put between the inner thighs. I'm gonna use a ball right now just so that people coming in can see that we have something. If you don't have a ball, reach tall is fine. You're just gonna bring the weights down for a moment by your sides, pressing your feet down into the mat, squeezing that pillow, ball, beach towel, all right? Planting your feet, pressing evenly into the feet. Go ahead and press your low back down, start to tuck the hips and lift, the pelvis, and peeling all the way down. Let's do that again. Press the low back down, lift, and lower back down. Next, we're gonna do the same thing. Now, it's your option whether you like to tuck and lift or come into more of a flat back position, which would be almost as though there is a sandwich board above you and below you. Our goal in the beginning here is to really warm up the glutes and then warm up the shoulders at the same time. So right now, I'm just gonna press my arms down into the floor. I'm lifting those hips up. Really just nice pressure into the feet evenly. And I'm gonna squeeze that ball for 10. Squeezing nine or that pillow. And again, it's just gonna help me engage my inner thighs. Five, four, three, two, one, and little presses up, 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, come all the way down to the mat. Take an inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna go ahead and press or, or roll those hips up. This time I'm gonna take my arms straight up to the ceiling. I'm gonna keep my hips lifted, I'm gonna press my feet into the floor so I can really start to, um, to really warm up the glutes, to get them burning a little bit. And from here, I'm just gonna do those little scapular stabilizations. So it's like I open the shoulder blades and pinch them together. I open the shoulders and pinch them together. So right now, this isn't a lot of work on those arms, it's strictly just warming up the shoulders, and really definitely warming up the gluteal muscles, the buns, yes? Four, three, opening, so you can see my arms are straight. I'm just kind of pinching the shoulder blades and opening them. And then I'm gonna hold that, those arms straight above me to start, and again, I wanna squeeze into the ball, pressing your feet, my feet down, taking my mind, making sure that I'm focused on squeezing a little bit tighter. And then I'm just gonna scissor those arms. One arm is gonna go over, but not to the point where I feel any pulling. And then switch the arms. And switch. So I'm just pressing the feet down, warming up the glutes, scissoring those arms. Nice. few more like this, keeping my tummy muscles engaged, nice even breathing, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, just scissoring those arms, and then bringing those arms straight up to the ceiling. I'm going to cross them over, give myself a little hug, and open the arms. And again, hug and open. I'm really squeezing through those, go into the glutes, and Across and across. Nice. Good. Over and squeeze. Squeeze. Nice. Four. Three. So even without weight, you can still warm up those shoulders. Two, one, bringing those palms facing the floor, holding here, start to pump those arms, hundreds and threes. In, two, three, exhale, two, three. I'm gonna add on, in, two, three, and flip your palms, two, three. Sniff, 
two, three, and blow, two, three, in, two, three, and out, two, three. Bun should be starting to burn a little bit in our thighs. Nice, couple more. Exhale, two, three, sniff, two, three, blow, two, three, last set, two, three, blow, two, three. Take those weights or just your palms. Press them on top of those thighs, pulses up 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold there. If you have that pillow or that ball between the inner thighs, squeezes again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place the palms down. Push your hands down. I'm still holding those weights. I'm going to push my arms down even more to squeeze up a little higher. One more set of lifts here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and squeezes. 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and peel down bone by bone. Hug your knees into your chest and rock and roll up, getting ready for planking, yes. So let's go ahead and we'll open up those hip flexors a little while we keep working into plank. We're gonna come onto the hands Stepping your right foot back, stepping your left foot back. Nice stretchy plank here, just a full plank. Option to soften the arms a little bit for a little more core work. Just from here, right leg is gonna squeeze up and tap it down, up and tap it down, up and lower, up and lower, four, three, two, one. You all know the rules. You can always put that left knee down, turning that, making sure that kneecap is pointing to the floor, little squeezes up, 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 four, Three, two, one. Place that foot down. Left leg lifts. Up and lower. Squeeze. Again, keeping that kneecap pointing down, toes pointing down. Up, up, up. Squeezing through the glute. Next time it's pulses. Up. Up, 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 four, three, two, either child's pose or down dog. Coming back into plank, you're gonna lift that leg up, toes and kneecap still point to the floor, right leg goes out and back in, out and back in, out. Out, out to the side and in, out and in. Three, two, make sure those toes are pointing down, pulses out. Six, five, four, three, two, one, place it down. Same thing. Left leg, up, lower, up, up. Nice long leg. I'm gonna check on you guys, up. 
four, three, two, one, and going out their pulses. Sorry, it was a, supposed to be an out. You guys got it. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one, and set those knees down, stretch. Let's come on the forearms. And just starting the way we did on our back. Open the shoulder blades and pinch them together. Open and together. Open and together. Open and together. Six, five, four, three, two, hold, barely lift the right foot, stretch that hip flexor and left. Right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. One more, right and left. Set the knees down and stretch. So the next set, we're gonna work with the arm. So you might wanna have your legs a little bit wider we're going to just bring that right arm out, tapping the mat to the right eight times. So again, I'm bringing my legs a little wider, just so that I'm nice and stable. Elbows are under the shoulders. Right, and tap it in. Right. Right. You can always put the knee down and slide the arm if it's too much on your shoulder. And the same thing on the left. Tap it out and in, tap and in, tap and in. Try to keep that left hip even. Four more, three, two, one. Set the knees down and stretch. Next time, we're gonna bring that right arm forward. We're only going to do three on each side. So it's three forward and left elbow for hand forward. Here we go. Forward, tap, forward, tap, forward, tap. Same thing on the left. Three, two, one. Set the knees down and stretch. Let's come into a tricep for tricep push-ups. I'm gonna cue us um, with the knees down, but know that you can always um, come up onto the hands. So we're gonna do five tricep push-ups, sit back into child's pose and repeat that three times. So bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Bend the elbows back, and straighten, bend them back, and straighten. Bend them, and straighten. Sit back for a stretch. Two more sets. Bend the elbows back, and straight. Back, and straighten. Back, and straighten. Back, and straighten, you're just bending the elbows back towards the kneecaps. Bend and straighten and sitting back for that child's pose. One more set, elbows coming back for five, four, three, two, one, and sit back and stretch. So the last one we're gonna do is a side plank. You're gonna have an option here to either do it on the forearms or on the hands. So regardless of your position, we're gonna go ahead, so if you're in a full plank on the hands, you're gonna go ahead and 
lift the right arm up to the ceiling, pushing that left hand down. I have my legs scissored, but of course you have the option to stack them. This can be done on the forearms, correct? So you would turn that arm and you'd lift. And all we're doing is holding here, holding for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, coming back for that opposite side. So when you're on the hand, you kind of want to push outward to support your shoulder. So I'm going to just turn that way. But again, if you're on the forearm, it's the same thing. Your right forearm is turned in, left arm is up to the ceiling. For another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come on down. Nice job, you guys. Now we're gonna just go ahead and stretch that out a little bit. If you have a ball or a pillow, you're gonna bring that between the inner thighs. Now you do have the option to pick up the weights again for this one, but we're only gonna do this a little bit. So you're gonna round, tuck your hips so that you're kind of, you're tucking the tailbone underneath you and you're coming up and open. You're tucking and rounding and opening. So again, we're just kind of releasing the back. And again, you don't need to use the weights. I'm not up, down, up. Maybe this is gonna let you get a little lower as you do this series. Trying to kiss the low back, down to the mat. Two more, two, one, and release. Now you can go ahead and take that out or you can keep it behind your back. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the feet together today, knees apart. So again, you can put that pillow behind your back for some support. You're gonna reach the arms forward and kind of like a hug a tree arm. So from here, holding here, I'm just gonna tuck my hips, hold. Now just checking it out, seeing how it feels, maybe you're gonna to start to do some little lifts. So if you need that back support, take that ball or that pillow and put it behind your back, up, up, up. So again, my knees are apart, my feet are together, up. Four, just lifting from the heart. Three, two, one, little twist to the right. Up, 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 up. Each time getting that nice lift as though you're coming over a little barbed wire fence. Drawing your tummy in and over to the left, up, up. Drawing the tummy in each time. Up, five, four, three, two. We're gonna come back through the center, tuck a little bit more, press the kneecaps apart. 10, press them open, nine, eight, seven, all I'm doing is pulsing, five, four, three, two, I'm gonna go back for two, pulse the knees open, two, back, back, open, open, back, back, open, open, two more, back, back, open, open, one more, back, back, open, open, and hold. Hold those legs for a moment. So as we go ahead, you're gonna have an option to keep reaching those arms. Or you can bring the hands back behind your head. So we're gonna come back. 
round back a little. Reach the right arm out. Come back in and come up two inches. Go down two inches. Reach that left arm back. Bring it in. Come up two inches. Go down two inches. Right arm reaches. Come in. Up. Down. Reach. In. I'll show you with reaching arms. So it'd be up. Down. Reach. Center. Up. Down. Reach. Center. Again. Up. Down. Reach. Up. Down. Reach. Two more. Up. Lower. Reach. Up. Lower. Reach. And come forward for stretch. And let's go ahead from here. We're going to still work those obliques and the center. I have my legs long. I'm not using a pillow, but you can. I'm going to reach those arms again. I'm going to tuck and round a little bit, just a little. Relax those legs, maybe push the thigh bones down a little bit more. I'm going to rotate just a little bit right. Holding here, I'm going to go down two inches. I'm going to bring the arms up. I'm going to rotate completely over to the left. Lower those arms. I'm going to come up two inches. I'm going to go down two inches. I'm going to lift and rotate back over to the right. Lower the arms. Up. Down. Lift. Rotate completely, completely, completely. Lower. Lifting up. Down. Lift the arms, draw the belly in, rotate, rotate, rotate. And lower. Come up two inches. Down. Lift, lift, lift. Rotate. And lower. One more time. Up. Down. Lift. Center. And come forward for a nice stretch. And let's go ahead all the way onto your back. You can use a pillow or nothing right now. I'm gonna move my weights. And from here, you're gonna just lift the shoulders up. I have my feet pressing down. Just lift, lift, lift up high and lower. Maybe the next one we can come up a little higher. Exhale as you lift, 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 lift. And lower. Three more. Lift, 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 lift. And lower. Two more. Lift, 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 lift. And lower. One more time. Lift. And lower. I'm going to lift up. This time I'm going to rotate over to the right. Keep that left hip down. Come back to the middle and lower the shoulders. I'm going to lift up. I'm going to rotate to the left. Come back to the middle, curl up higher and lower. Lifting up. Rotate right. Come back to the middle. And lower. Curling up. Rotate left. Keep that pelvis still. Come to the middle. And lower. Again, lifting up. Rotate. Center. Lowering down. Lifting up. Rotate left. Center. And lower. Curling up. Rotate right, center, and lower. Lifting up, rotate left, center, and lower. Last time, lifting up, rotate right, center, and lower. Last one here, curling it up. Left, center, and lower. Now go ahead from here. Bring your right leg up. 
Bring your left leg up. Curl the shoulders up. Now this time you're not gonna lower to the center. I want you to exhale, go completely over to the right. Exhale, completely over to the left. My shoulders are staying lifted over to the right, over to the left, over to the right, over to the left. So it's as though I am rotating on a little rod that's in the center of my chest. So I'm not lowering the shoulders. I'm just rotating right and left while I'm lying on my back with my hands behind my head. Just so I'm really getting that rotation from the ribs. Right and left. Right and left. One more here. Right and left. Come back to the center. Chest lifts here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the feet down, lower your shoulders. So we're gonna concentrate a little bit more on the center. Again, hands are behind your head, either weaving your fingers together or palm on palm. So I'm gonna have my feet just a little bit apart. I'm gonna flex my feet. I'm gonna lift my shoulders up. With flex feet, I'm gonna bring the legs up. I'm gonna lower the feet back down, flex feet, lower the shoulders. Lift the shoulders up. Lift the legs with flex feet. I really feel those low abs turning on. I lower the feet, I'm gonna lower the shoulders. Lifting up. Both legs come up, float them down, lower the shoulders. Lifting up, lift the legs up, lower the legs, lower the shoulders. Let's do four more. Lift, curl, curl, curl. Lift the legs, lower the legs. Lower the shoulders. Lift the shoulders. Lift the legs. Lower them. Lower. Okay, two more. <laughs> Lift the shoulders. Lift those legs. Lower them. Lower. Last time here. Lift. Flex the feet. Lower them down and lower the shoulders. We're gonna come up again, lift. Bring those legs up, reach them out. I'm gonna hook them together. So in other words, squeeze your knees, squeeze your inner thighs and pull them back in. Stretch them out, pull them back in. Stretch them out, pull them back in. Stretch them out. This time I'm gonna go ahead, arms back. Arms support me. Arms reach, let's do those flex feet. Reach and back in, reach and back in. Reach those heels, four, three, two, one. Hold, lift the shoulders, lower the feet, lower the shoulders. So I'm gonna keep my head down now, arms down, right leg comes up, flex foot, left. So from here, my knees are gonna stay right over the hips. My toes are back towards me, my arms are down. I'm gonna do a little twist. My feet come right, my knees stay right where they started, over the pelvis, right over the thigh bones, and twist, twist, twist. So I'm feeling this big time in the waist. I'm drawing my stomach muscles in. So what I'm doing is this twist. Twist, twist, twist. Good, just through the sides of the waist, sides of the waist, sides of the waist. Twist, 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 side, side, side. Now at any point, if you want, you can go ahead and bring those hands behind your head and you're still twisting. Side, side, side. Side, it's up to you whether head is down or not. Where I really want to feel this 
is I want to keep those ribs dropping down and feet going side to side to work the waist. Beautiful. Couple more. Last two and hug your knees into your chest. So let's go ahead, we're gonna bring the feet back down onto the ground. We're gonna bolt the legs together. We're going back into a little bit of bridging. Arms are down by your sides. So and we started with a pillow, but we're not gonna use that right now. You're gonna press your low back down, tuck the hips and lift the pelvis away from the floor. I'm squeezing through my inner thighs. I'm pressing my feet down into the mat. I'm just gonna start to press up. 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 So I'm still feeling my inner thighs, even though I'm not using that ball. I'm tightening everything, squeezing up. Up, pressing the feet down into the mat. Up up, squeeze. And again, if that isn't comfortable on your knees, you can always try walking your feet forward a little bit or just bringing your feet a little bit apart, even grabbing that pillow is fine. Squeezing up, up, up. We're gonna do about 10 more here because I really want you to start to feel that, how the inner thighs are supporting the movement, keeping your knees stable. And then we're gonna add. So if you choose, you're gonna to start to lift the heels up. So here's where you might need to walk the feet back. And again, you're just definitely gonna feel this, not just in the inner thighs, but in those hamstrings, in the backs of the legs. So different than what, how we felt it in our warm up. We're coming with a little more focus on hamstrings, inner thighs, nice and tight. And we are gonna add on in another five, four, three, two. Now you can stay like this. You can stay with just the squeezes with heels up. You can have your heels down. Or just maybe you'll extend your right leg. You'll still squeeze those inner thighs, but you're squeezing up from that left thigh, that hamstring, squeezing up, 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 up. So if that leg is extended, you're gonna continue for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then place that foot down. Same thing, if one leg was extended, it's time to extend the other and you're squeezing up, up, up. Squeeze, pushing, you're gonna feel right at the base of that butt cheek where that, what I like to call the thigh area where your buns and your hamstring come together, your thigh, up. Keeping that pelvis squared, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place that foot down and peel all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your right leg straight to the ceiling. Give it a little stretch. Lift your head and shoulders up. Walk your hands a little bit higher on the leg if you can, curling up. Going into a nice stretchy movement here. Exhale, exhale, and switch. Exhale, exhale. Exhale, exhale. Exhale, exhale. Lift the shoulders up, up. Exhale, exhale. If it's easy for you to keep your legs straight, maybe flex the feet. Getting a little deeper stretch. Maybe reaching those hands up even a little higher now. And then single switches of those legs, either pointed, 
flexed, relaxed, just switch, switch, switch. Nice. Adding a little rotation right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Four, three, two, one, hug your knees into your chest. And let's go ahead from here, coming onto your right side. Let's look around. So we're going to start with, let's start with straight legs. You're going to bring those legs just barely in front of you. Working on a little bit of waist here. Take an inhale. On your exhale, draw those legs away from the floor and lower them down. Again, lift them up and lower them down. One more here. Lift up and lower them down. We're going to lift those legs up again. Holding here. Hollow out those abs just a little bit more. Really bolt those legs together. Lift your top leg. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. And bring it back down. Lift it up and down. Lift it up and lower. Lift it up and lower. Four, three, two. Hold it up on this next one. You're going to take the bottom leg. You're going to squeeze it up and lower it. Squeeze it up and lower it. Squeeze it up and lower it. Lift it up and lower. Lift. Four. Three, two, hold it up on this next one. Tighten your thighs, lifts eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up on one. Holding here, imagine that there's a wall in front of your thighs, in back of your thighs. We're going to focus on that same area we did in our bridging, the, the thigh area, the hamstrings. Keeping the thighs still, you're going to bend at the knees. You're squeezing through the back of the leg and stretch it out. You're squeezing. I feel those hamstrings again. I'm bending and squeezing like I'm trying to kick myself in the behind. Squeeze and squeeze. And four, three, two, on one, straighten those legs, bend them in front, and set those legs down. Go ahead and make sure that you're stacking your hips. We're going to lift the top leg up and lower it. Lift it up and lower it. Lift it up. Now you can always take that weight. You can take your hand on top of that thigh for a little more resistance. You're always welcome to have a band wrap there if you need it for that extra work. Four, three, two. Hold it up on one. Hold it here. From here, you're going to do the same thing. Um, little lifts here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, I'm going to bring that leg back. So it's bent, but I'm reaching it to the wall behind me and bring it forward. So I'm back to working that waist, opening up that hip flexor, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Four, three, Two, I'm going to reach it back again, and then I'm going to straighten it out. So my leg is now, my foot is going to be floppy. 
I'm in the straight line. And I'm just going to relax that foot and start to do little lifts again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little circles. Eight, seven, six. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Other direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I'm keeping those hips stacked. I'm going to bring that foot forward. It's not going to be all the way forward. It's about 45 degrees. I'm going to do those little lifts again. Eight, seven, six, five. So it's sort of lined up mid calf over the foot. Three, two, little circles, relaxed foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, other direction again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now this time I'm gonna bring it forward till it's right over my belly button, right in front of it. Here we go again. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. That leg should be starting to burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, hold, 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 drop it down. We're gonna go to a little inner thigh as we stretch that out. That top leg is gonna come front, bottom leg is long. We're gonna squeeze that leg up one, little more two, little more three, lower halfway. Up, up higher, up higher, and lower halfway. Lift one, keep stretching it out two, Three, halfway, up, 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 and halfway. Lift it up, 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 and halfway. Again, lift, two, three, and halfway. Up, 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 halfway, one more time. Up, 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 hold, little circles, and eight. Seven, squeezing under that glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Other direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower it down. All right, guys, let's go to that other side. All right. So we're going to start in that nice long position to work the core. Squeeze those legs. They can be slightly in front or not. Bottom hand is extended. Palm down or whatever works for you. Squeeze the legs up and lower. Lift them up and lower one more time. Lift them up and lower. We're gonna lift them up and stay, holding here. Drawing those low abs in, keep stretching out of those hips. Lift it up and lower, top leg. Up and lower, up and lower. Lift, four, up, three, 
two. Hold up on one. We're taking that bottom leg up and lower. Up and lower. Up. Up. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Lift up. Both legs here, up. I'm working through that with that waist muscle. It's the low abs, waist, inner thighs, outer thighs. Three, two. Now on one, this is where you imagine there's a little wall in front of you, wall behind you. I'm squeezing the legs together as I bend. I can feel those hamstrings. Kneecaps are lifted away from the floor still and back up. I'm gonna squeeze and back out. I'm gonna squeeze and back out. And then squeeze and back. Four, three, two, one. Nice and tight. Bring those legs all the way in front. Set them down. Lift the top one up again and lower. Up and lower. Up. Keeping that space under the waist. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up there. Little lifts. Eight. Seven. And again, you can always use your hand or one of those weights. Four. Three. Two, hold. You're gonna take that leg behind you with a bent knee and forward. Bring it back so you're opening up that hip flexor, squeezing through the glute and forward. It's a bent knee coming back and forward. Bend and forward. Four more like this. Four, three, two, as you hold it back, you're keeping it in line with the hip and then you're straightening that leg. You're gonna lift, relax the foot, up, up, lift, up, four, three, two, hold it here with a floppy foot, circles. Keeping that, that little feeling of a little mouse hole under the waist. You're still stretching that leg. Three, two, other direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here's where you're gonna bring it forward, maybe just a foot. So it's somewhere between where your belly button is and where we started back in line with the hip. Little lifts, oops, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and circle. Second side's always a little harder. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, other direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here's where we're gonna bring it forward. Up, so it's up by my belly button. Up, up, four, three, two, Getting ready for that final set of circles. So finding the size circle that helps you feel it the most. Where do you feel that the most? Three, two, other direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower it down. Nice job, you guys. We're stretching that out with a little inner thigh work. 
So it's just sort of an active stretch as we hold onto the ankle. If you are able to, you're going to start to lift the bottom leg up one, two, three, lower halfway, up, 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 halfway, lift up one, two, three, halfway, up, 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 and halfway, four more here, lift, up, up, and lower, up, 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 and lower, again, lift, up, up, and lower, one more here, up, 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 hold, little circles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other direction, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up, 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 and lower that down. Nice job, you guys. So let's come on up, give those inner thighs a little stretch. Come on to your tummy. And if you choose, you're gonna take those weights again as we go into a little extension. Totally up to you. You're gonna take the weights back by your sides, palms up, and the same thing can be done without weights. Yes? Just activating those triceps a little bit more too. So you can have, we're gonna go ahead starting down. I'm gonna to have to come up to a seat to show you. But with the palms up to the ceiling, you're gonna lift your chest, lift the arm, and lower back down. Lift your chest, lift the arms, and lower back down. So again, if you were on your tummy, it would look like this. Lift the chest, lift the arms, and lower. Lift and lower. On the next one, you're gonna lift and hold. And again, this actually could be done in this kneeling position or with legs extended. You're just gonna lift up eight, seven. So you're in this little extension. If you're on your tummy, four, three, feet are down, two, little presses outward, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and little squeezes inward, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sit back and stretch. And let's come on up to a standing position, choosing to use those weights or not. We'll finish with a little standing back and arm work. Let's see, I'll start with them there. So we're gonna start in a wide second with bent knees. So from here, I have those arms, my palms are facing down. I'm going to make sure that those kneecaps are pointing back to the wall behind me. In fact, I'm just going to start pressing them back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Chest is lifted. You're going to lift the arms up. You're going to open them out. You're going to bring them in. Lower them down. Lift them up. Open them. In and down, lift them up, open them up, in, and down, lift it up, open them, in, and down. You have four more, and again, they can be done without weights, so I'm putting mine down, lift, open, in, and down, up, open, in, and down, two more, up, open, 
in and down one more time up open in and down we're gonna lift them up we're gonna open them to the side weights or not sink down a little lower pulses down eight seven six five four three two one whole little circles eight seven six five four three two other direction eight seven six five four three two sink a little lower holding here turn your palms forward so palms are forward thumbs facing upward pulses down 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 four three two one and hold squeeze those arms in and bring them out work in the back squeeze them in and out. squeeze them in and out. you're lower aren't you here we go four three two arms can stay in or arms can go out pulses deeper eight seven six five four three two one bring those hands with weights or not onto those hips lift the heels lower the heels lift the heels lower the heels lift we're back feeling the back of the leg top of the leg inner thighs four three two either with heels up or heels down pulses eight seven six five four three two and one shake it out placing your weights down step to the back of the mat reach the arms take an inhale here exhale diving all the way down to the floor reach the arms up to the ceiling clasp your hands Bend your right knee as you rotate left and side to side. Let your head hang. Shake your head out, shake it. Nod your head yes, shake it no. Shifting the weight towards the balls of the feet, back to the heels, balls of the feet and heels. Find that spot where you can soften those knees rolling all the way up. And you guys are good to go. Great job tonight.